So I managed to um, clean up yesterday's disaster um, with the expanding foam and um, fortunately I had covered everything in grease before I applied the expanding foam uh, so it didn't stick too much because um, that stuff is a real bugger to get off any surfaces once you've put it apart. Um, so I spent like half an hour just scraping it all off and um, they've actually come out not too bad considering so um, I think next time I'll just plan the whole injection thing better by maybe just drilling a hole uh, in in the sphere and, and then injecting the um, the the expanding foam and just trying to make it a, a less traumatic and messy experience and a bit more control put just try and control the way it flows because it just went everywhere and I wasn't really prepared whatsoever so um, it was a learning curve but anyway it seems to have done the trick so um, fortunately I managed to um, salvage my uh, let's get these off. salvage these balls um, so as you can see inside they've got um, the, the the expanding foam inside them so there you go and um, it's just made it a bit more of a sturdy object so um, it's less likely to um, break under the pressure of um, having the weight of a, a Dalek arm inside it or whatever. Uh, I may not even use them but um, it's just some ideas. Um, I may just go with a bunch of eight walls like I did before. So, um, But yeah, it, as, as, a, um, as a cheap way of um, producing hemispheres that are light, and that's the main thing, um, that's, this is a possibility. Uh, so now I've got the process working. I mean, it probably wouldn't take too long to make some more of these if I had to. Um, but like I say, they're quite sturdy and um, and just relatively cheap to make. And um, this is my prototype Dalek eyeball. And again, um, came out quite well, um, considering. Uh, so at least this way, it's a bit more kind of a solid object and um, uh, the uh, the eye piece fits in nicely now so I probably wouldn't even have to fix that in with, with screws or anything I can just stick it in there and um, wire it up with a light and uh, I mean that's just a prototype but um, it's just an idea uh, I might I'm probably gonna chop up this eight ball actually and use that as the final eye, eye ball piece and um, yeah, use use that front, cut cut that out, invert it like I've done with this one, and stick it in a baked bean can, and um, yeah, do the same kind of thing on this one. Only because it's a bit more sturdy anyway, and um, yeah, possibly it's a better bet. I don't know, uh, but this might do for other. I don't know. Um, it's a backup eyeball anyway. So so yeah, that's all that stuff. So fortunately, uh, the Expanding foam didn't really cause too much of a disaster as, as I thought it would, and um, and I've got some some things to to work with now. So uh, some um, ball joints and things, and um, you know they slide onto the, the tubes relatively nicely, and uh, and it all kind of um, comes together. So yeah, not too bad um, considering, not too shabby.